Today is the day we head back to Missouri. Yeah, looking forward to that. 13 hours on the road, and I will be popping up episodes and whatnot of little things, segments along the way, and hopefully you enjoy it. It's a crazy day already. It's 10 o'clock. We are at a Sheets in Walkersville, picking up breakfast, and then we're going to get some gas, and then on our way to the West Virginia. This has been an amazingly wonderful trip in so many ways. My foot is still hurting from the weekend, but hey, what are you going to do? When you're having fun, sometimes there's casualties. I'm really looking forward to talking to y'all, so don't be shy about hitting that call-in button and letting me know what you want to talk about. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, we record these podcasts on Anchor. If you go to anchor.fm slash Project Shadow, you'll see us there. You'll be able to download the app and follow us. And, of course, a FedEx truck is uh, starting right beside me now. So, yay! So, once you follow us, you'll be getting every segment live as they happen. You'll be able to listen in throughout the day, as well as segments that don't make it into the podcast itself. We're sometimes just sharing some musings that don't really make sense, (laughs) would not make sense out of context, and so not, they don't often make it into the podcast. And sometimes there's music and whatnot that we share along the way. Oh, there's another one. That's the uh, Frederick County Public Schools beeping at us now. So, yeah, definitely on the road, if you can't tell. Um, Very, very excited to get back and get to work. Um, But definitely call in if you have any questions or comments, especially on the question that I left yesterday's podcast on are you willing to pay for Star Trek Discovery? Because I still don't know. If you are willing to pay for it, it would be lovely if you would try to talk me into it, because I I feel like I need a push in that direction. Other than that, it's going to be about 13 to 15 hours in the car, and then we will be home. So, looking forward to everything. We're going to be listening to the rest of American Gods full audio on the way. Promises to be an interesting day. Okay, so we were driving through Amish country out in Pennsylvania on the way to visit my sister. And Brian, being Brian, you know how you are, Oh yeah. suddenly looked up and said, nobody pray for me. I was like, wait, 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 wait. And I grabbed my phone, and I typed up, and I put on Kendrick Lamar's Humble. And we had the windows down, and we cranked it all the way up. And we're going through Amish country with Humble playing in the back, playing as loud as we can. Sing along, sing along. And then, oh, I did not know this was something I needed in my life. It was one of those secret bucket list moments. But all of a sudden, we're sitting there next to an older Amish couple in their buggy. And they're going down the road. We're at the stoplight. We're waiting, we're waiting, and they start bobbing their heads along to the beat of the song <laughs> and really getting into it. I had no idea that I needed to listen to Humble with the Amish, but I did. Achievement unlocked. Achievement unlocked. Achievement unlocked. So just so you know, if you're ever around the Amish, you might want to give it a try. You never know how much fun you're going to have. Like, we almost missed the green light because we were laughing so hard that we just couldn't look up. So, thank you, Kendrick. Thank you to the Amish. And, wow, life is good sometimes. And if Kendrick ever suddenly goes, like, super big in the Amish country, he then knows who to thank. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we may have planted some seeds. You can set up a room to bring a concert. Set up a room to bring a concert. Oh, that would be brilliant. <laughs> That would be so much fun. Oh. But, oh, man. No, I just kept thinking, because the only word they probably heard was, sit down, be humble, you know? And they probably thought we were listening to some kind of religious rap or something. I don't know. But, oh, man, that was just oh, one of those great experiences that you don't know you need until they happen. And then they happen, and life is good. 
There is nothing better than coming home to the warm, warm, affectionate, nipping dog. Got a hole in my ear. It's kind of almost pierced now. And claw marks on my legs. And a very wet face. So I know she loves me. We're home. We made it. Sorry I didn't do as many segments on the road as I thought I was going to. The only real thing that happened along the way was uh, as we were passing Cairo, um, we've been reading American Gods, and this beat-down rust bucket of a car just zoomed down the road and passed us really quickly, heading <clears throat> off into the darkness. And Brian just, without missing a beat, said it looks like Mr. Wednesday's in a hurry to get somewhere. And we had a very good laugh. But other than that, it was like not much happened. Uh, we'll be back to regular podcasting tomorrow. But we're home. I'm very happy we're home. Tomorrow, there shall be the tale of the epic hamburger. I promised it today. I meant to do it today. I'm not going to do it today because I'm worn out and it's late and I'm home. I will do it tomorrow. Hamburger! So I will talk to you all tomorrow. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to hit the call-in button and let us know because I would love to answer your questions or have a conversation with you. Um, If you don't know how to do that, go to anchor.fm slash project shadow and download the the Anchor app and follow Project Shadow on Anchor and you'll see a little call in button when you're either listening to us there or um, on our profile page and you'll be able to leave us an audio message and I'll hear it and be able to respond. So have the fun and I will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>